Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Aditola. For those of you that have never seen me before, again, my name is Aditola. Thank you so much for choosing to watch this video today. We are going to be talking about lip care, products that I typically would recommend, and those that I do use to take care of my lips to make sure that they stay healthy, they're conditioned, they feel smooth, and all the good stuff. So we have quite a number of products to go through today. So go ahead and grab a snack, get yourself a drink, and make sure you do stay comfortable because we have quite a few products to get into. So let's get into it right now. So the first category that I'm going to be talking about are lip scrubs. It's so essential to make sure that at least I would say maybe once a week, you want to make sure you incorporate a lip scrub into your routine. A lot of people invest a lot in skincare routine, which is good. I do that as well, but they leave out the care of the lips, right? So you want to make sure that you invest in, there are many options actually, affordable lip scrubs. And I do have quite a few here that I will be recommending. I think I have maybe one or two that are not considered drugstore. Otherwise, I do have a number that are actually affordable that you can get at like Ulta Beauty or like... The first one is from Dr. Popo. It's the Scrub and Nourish. And um, it actually is a two-in-one. So let me go ahead and bring it out of the box. And this is what it looks like. It's yellow. I mean, the, <laughs> the container is yellow, all right? And on the one side, you have the lip scrub. And on the other side, at the bottom, you have the balm that's supposed to nourish your lips. So this is a new one because I've already finished the first one. And I wanted to show you what it looks like when you get it out of the box brand new. My other one um, is completely finished, but this is a scrub. And then what you do is obviously you make sure your lips are completely um, dry. I typically would do it maybe after like brushing my teeth um, in the evening and then apply like two layers and then gently scrub. And then you want to take a damp towel or a damp um, napkin and then wipe the scrub off. And once you're done with that, then you want to go ahead and apply this part of it, which is more like a balm. Yeah, and I remember the smell. It doesn't have any, it doesn't really have a strong smell. It doesn't have any smell at all. So if you're actually one of those that don't like things that smell, I don't really smell anything. I don't remember smelling anything on any of this particular um, brand's products, but I could be wrong. This is the only one I've tried so far, and I really love it. It's really, really nice. I can swap, I can swatch the, um, the lip balm for you, but I can't swatch the scrub because obviously, you know, I, it doesn't do you any good if I do that right now, but it's very easy. So here's what that looks like. It feels like Vaseline, pretty much. That's the best way I can explain it. So the next one is from ColourPop and it's their Lippy Scrub. And that's what this looks like. Let me turn it around. It's the ColourPop Lippy Scrub. And this is what it looks like. So this one I think I've only used maybe like three times. Because a little goes a long way. That's why you can see my um, print inside of it. But I really like this a lot. I really do. It's very gentle, but it works. Moving on to the next one is also um, a lip scrub. But this one is by Beauty Bakery. It's the Sugar Lip Scrub. There you go. So that's the Beauty Bakery Sugar Lip Scrub. Again... You want to go ahead and apply these the same way that I explained. This I have used quite a number of times. Actually, if you've used any of these, leave a comment and let me know which ones you've actually used before. Now, this next one is from Agave. Oh, <laughs> did I say it's from Agave? It's from Bite Beauty. That's what I wanted to say. And I'm trying to open it up. Because it has one of those containers where you have to pull out. Let me show you what it looks like before I open it up. And it says Agave Plus. And again, this one is the Weekly Lip Scrub. There's a lip scrub. So when you open it, it has one of these little thingies inside that you can use to scoop the lip scrub out to apply, which is really good. You just want to make sure that you keep that little 
spatula, whatever you want to call it. You want to keep it clean. Oh, okay, now I got, I, th I think it's the nails that were getting in the way. So again, I had to restock on all of these products to make sure that I could show you what they look like. And this is the color. And this one has a little bit of um, granules in it. You know, so you can actually literally feel it when you put it on to show that, you know, you, you're scrubbing your lips. That's what I'm trying to say. It has tiny little granules inside that will let you know that, yeah, you can feel, you know, that you're scrubbing your lips. It's gentle. So don't get me wrong. It's not harsh at all. And when you're actually doing this, you don't need to keep feeling like, oh my God, you don't need to do that. Just, you know, you just rub back and forth, 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 back and forth. It's almost like washing the lips, but it's a scrub. So be gentle when you're doing these things and um, enjoy the process. It's really important that you enjoy the process when you're doing that. I like this green that I'm wearing. I know this is kind of off topic, but I don't know. I think it looks nice on me. What do you think? Totally off topic, but I just noticed myself when I was looking in the viewfinder that I do like this green. Uh, okay, another one from Agave is the Nighttime Lip Therapy. And this again has, it looks almost the same as the one I just showed you, even though the two are different. And when you open it up, this is what it looks like. And this, I should have told you, we've moved on from scrubs to now treatment. Okay. So I like to apply this at nighttime. Okay. You just rub it on your lips and it conditions and wait to see how your lips feel like the next morning. So again, I like using this at nighttime. I've heard some people use it during the day, but I like to use this during the nighttime. I don't know why, because again, I do not like dry lips. If you've seen any of my lip videos, you know I say that over and over again. I'll show you the one that I like to use during the daytime, also from Agave, because I really do like the brand. Why do I keep calling Agave Bite Beauty? If you might want to, I'll leave the links to where I got these from, and then you can always purchase from there if you want using those links. By using those links, you're supporting my channel because I do get a small commission. And thank you for those that always do. Here is the one that I use during the daytime. It's called the Daytime Lip Balm. And when you pull it out of the box, this is what it looks like. Again, you're going to see Agave written on it. But this is the one that I like to apply during the daytime. So the other one was for nighttime, but this one's for daytime. Let me wipe what I have on my lips off so I can apply it and you can see what it looks like. Yeah, I do remember this. See? It's a lip balm, but it also has a little bit of shine to it, which is not bad. As you can see. So let's move on to the next one. And let me go ahead and wipe my lips. So the next one is from Naturium. It's the Phyto Glow Lip Balm. I love their products. I like the fact that it has this little applicator on the top right here because it has somewhat of like a cooling effect when you're applying it on. And when you push it out, let's see what it, let me show you what it looks like. Mm. See what this looks like. It feels so good on the lips and this has more of a shine to it than the agave one. So if you're looking for a two-in-one which is like you know it's a lip balm. This is clear. The only reason why it's showing up with the tint of color is because of what I wiped off of my lips but I promise you it's clear clear clear. It has no color whatsoever but it does have shine which is really nice for those of us that just want to wear something comfortable, you know, without any color in it. But this is really nice. I've heard some people, honestly, in real life, I've heard some people say that it could be a dupe for the Summer Fridays one. Um, I don't know. I, I don't really know. I just know that I use this one and I like it and it's affordable. It's, it's cheaper 
but it works. So, hey, you got to save money, you know. Gas price, uh, for those <laughs> for those that know, they know gas price has gone up. So, you got to do everything you can to save money, right? So, I absolutely love this lip sleeping mask. If you know, you really do know that if you've never tried any part of Chrome Laneige, you need to get this one. This comes in different colors. This so far has been my favorite. I've used it over and over again. Um, see, this is like my third or fourth one and it's almost empty. Now, this one, I will tell you that I actually do not use it only at nighttime. I use it during the daytime as well. I know most times you're supposed to use it at nighttime, but I use it during the day as well. And this is what it looks like. Look at that. Mm. Mm -mm. So, so good. So, so good. It smells good. It feels good. And it looks good. Yep. All the ones I'm featuring are products that I actually use and love. So if you hear me say that over and over again, you should know it's because I'm recommending products that I actually use and love. And I'm giving you options to choose from based on where you love to shop. Or the next time you go out and you feel like shopping, you can pull up this video and you will see the items listed in the description section. So you know which ones exactly to buy. The next one that I have here is from Fresh and it's the Fresh Sugar Advanced Therapy Recovery Lip Mask. Comes in a little white box like this. It also has its own little um, applicator. This time this one's not white, it's clear and it has Fresh written on it. And then you look inside and here it is. It smells so good. It's so Oh, it smells comforting. There's just something comforting about this particular mask every time I smell it. Ugh, I love it. I almost want to say that it has some kind of... I don't know if it has mint in it, but it smell. It just reminds me of peppermint, like probably during like Christmas time. I don't know, but there's there's just something soothing and comforting about it. Okay, let me let me let me stop that. <laughs> <laughs> you need to try this. If you haven't tried it, you need to try it, okay? You need to. So good. So, so good. So, so, so good. Now, moving on to the next one. This is the Milk Makeup Lip Glaze. It's not a lip balm. It's more of something that I would use as a balm. Actually, it's a it's called a lip glaze, but I use it as like more like when I am done say for example I'm in I'm in the bathroom and I'm done with the skincare routine and like I said, if you're like me, my lips would get dry as soon as I'm out of the shower. So if you just want to apply something that has shine and gloss to it, let me go ahead and squirt some out. It comes out and it has this like green color to it, which matches my top. But anyway, when you put it on, as you can see, it looks like this. Okay, so now I'm showing you on top of the swatches that I did earlier. Oh, let, let me put it right here instead. So there you see it. And then let me move closer. And then when you put it on, see? It does have some shine to it. How about I try it on the lips for you? How about that, right? And a little goes a long way. And the applicator on this one also has that cooling effect. And you see that it has some shine. Mm-hmm. The shine we love. Shine, shine, bubble. <laughs> yeah, we love it. It's so good. I like it a lot. So this next one is... I saved the best for the last. It's from Tatcha. It's the Kisu Lip Mask. It looks like this. And even though I said I saved the best for the last, I do love all of them. But I really, really love this one. It has a little um, 
a little thingy again. I need to figure out what these things are called because they just remind me of spatulas from chemistry. I don't know why. So then you go ahead and then you go ahead and apply it. And a little bit of a long day. So, I do want to know if you have ever tried any one of these products. And if you have, I want to know in the comments. So drop it in the comments. Let's talk. Let's communicate. Let's know which one you've tried before. And if you have any other recommendations of which ones you would love for me to try, let me know in the comments as well. So that pretty much brings us to the end of this video. I have a lip oil somewhere, but I did not bring it because I didn't feel like it was necessary to bring a lip oil as part of lip care. I am one of those that love everything that has to do with lip care. And I really, really appreciate you for watching. And I will see you in the next video by God's grace. Until then, do make sure you do things that make your heart happy. And don't forget to protect your peace and take care of yourself. So until next time, bye. Too upset to drive, you get no money. So we gon' get lit on this ride.